Whales suffer from sunburn too. Annie Leonard's unique perspective on e-waste and Jack Johnson seems to save plastic. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, November 11th. Some whale species off the Mexican coast are showing severe signs of sunburn, most likely due to the ozone layer's decreased ability to block UV rays. Whales are particularly vulnerable to the sun's damage, in part because they need to spend extended periods of time on the ocean's surface to breathe, socialize, and feed their young. Since they don't have fur or feathers, that effectively means they're sunbaking nude. Or as lead researcher Laura Martinez Lavesia puts it, humans can put on clothes or sunglasses, whales can't. As with humans, the lighter skinned whales seem to have more trouble with the sun. The fear is that this skin damage will lead to skin cancer. Annie Leonard, the brainchild of 2007's The Story of Stuff, has since tackled bottled water, cosmetics and cap and trade. Her latest eco expose, The Story of Electronics, looks at the problem of e-waste. Leonard argues that the profit motive has led to cheap, hard to repair and hard to upgrade gadgets. By requiring electronics manufacturers to accept broken or unwanted electronics and handle all the costs of recycling and disposing of them, Leonard thinks they'll be incentivized to build longer lasting, more easy to repair and more easy to upgrade gadgets. And finally, green musician Jack Johnson has joined the fight to stop plastic pollution with a song. The video was filmed for the Plastic Pollution Coalition, a global alliance dedicated to spreading awareness about plastic's harmful environmental effects, and was part of TED's Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which challenges participants to refuse single-use and disposable plastics. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 News.